Hello! So there's been a huge development. Jupiter has gone into Capricorn uh, as of yesterday the 2nd. This is really exciting. I, it's hard to generalize for every single person. Um, and I really encourage you to come get a reading, honestly, uh, because this is such a, this is going to be the theme for all of 2020, basically, uh, at least as per, per Jupiter goes, but especially since Jupiter and Saturn are in the same region of space known as Capricorn, this is, this is a really big deal. It's very exciting. So even if you've gotten readings from me before, it's really a good time to check in and just even get like a 15 minute little update of, okay, so what should I focus on for 2020 and, and what, how, like what, what opportunities are, basically this is the biggest thing is opportunities are coming to all of us where in the domain that we've been working on for the last two years steadily and surely uh, for me it's in my sixth house so it's working with with health and wellness and uh, also my professional skills i'm really excited for this next year for things to really finally start popping off in the best ways um, for everybody, it's going to be different. If it's in your seventh house, it'll have to do with relationships. If it's your first, you know, it, it, there's so many different ways it could, uh, I mean, well, there's not, there's only 12 different ways it could manifest, but whatever the house that Saturn is in, Jupiter is coming to join that over the course of 2020. And this is again, very, very exciting. Um, what else as per today and tomorrow, we got moon now in Pisces. Like I always say with this transit, especially with transiting Neptune in Pisces as well. This is one of the trippiest times all all month. So enjoy the ride of feelings. Um, enjoy feeling others' feelings, but stay focused on, on your feelings and, and seeking to understand what they mean. This is some people will project a lot of their anger and whatnot um, during this time, but this can actually be really helpful in realizing our own emotions. And I think that's the key is okay. Other people, emotionally, they can feel whatever they like to feel, but unless I let it affect me, it, it doesn't affect me. Uh, of course, there might be to some practical extent, like, okay, I need to get away from this person, you know? But at the end of the day, these energies are, are very... They're very sensitive, but I think the best thing to get out of them is going inwards with the sensitivity and seeking to understand our fears, our hopes, our dreams, and especially what we want to build over this next year. There's there's so much to talk about with that uh, alone, but I think the next two days, the biggest focus is on healing, coming to understand emotions, uh, both our emotions and other people's emotions, and just being more compassionate. There can be a little bit of tension. We have Sun and Sagittarius and Moon in Pisces, so for people who aren't very patient, for example, or are very caught up in their own ego, again, that's the practical thing. I'm going to get away from that person, you know. But besides that, this is a great time to, to feel. So I hope you have a wonderful day. As always, I'm doing readings to get in contact with me. Uh, Y'all know who've been watching me for a while, but for those who don't, um, the info is in the about section of this YouTube video, or if you're watching this on Instagram, it's in the bio section. And all the information is there for all the different kinds of readings I offer. Feel free to ask any questions. My contact info is there too. And peace. Infinite love to you, my friend. Namaste. It's really good to focus on what you want to build for 2020. Again, it's going to be a little bit different for every single person, but ultimately these energies of Jupiter and Saturn and Cap that we're all experiencing is about building and solidifying and securing and making things really concrete and uh, it's good to be aware of what we're doing consciously and subconsciously and to unite that also of course going in the direction of fulfilling our needs and uh, living the best life we could possibly live like always that's always the goal with astrology but this is a wonderful time to make solid steps focusing on that peace